Attention, you are in breach of the Nextor Corporation's Terms of Service Agreement. Shall we spin it? How much bounce is happening? Feels like a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Colin Levy, and I'm the director of a proof of concept short called Skywatch, which is now finally on YouTube after six years of work. A couple of years ago, we did a, a fundraising campaign on Kickstarter. And one of the reasons we wanted to raise money was for this opening commercial. And I thought it would be fun to kind of talk a little bit about the inception of the idea and then also how we executed it because it's kind of an ambitious concept. We batted around a lot of different ideas, but the one that I landed on and got excited about was this revolving shot, this single unbroken take sort of starts on the portal, pulls out and arcs around, swooping through walls and reveals different vignettes, all kind of centered around this piece of futuristic technology. Then the challenge became, how the heck do we pull this off? It wasn't initially clear if this would be possible at all because the camera move is like easy to animate in a computer, but we want the move to go over countertops and furniture, like the, the camera's moving pretty quickly. It seemed really tricky, <laughs> but I remembered uh, this online acquaintance of mine, Ryan Weber, who for one of his lightsaber battles, uh, fashioned this ingenious piece of equipment that swooped a camera 360 degrees. I actually remember when I was like 15 or 16 years old talking to Ryan on AIM and he showed me some of his earliest prototypes that he built in his backyard with his dad and I was floored because the Matrix had just come out and it was like bullet time. Since this has sort of been rattling around in my head since those days, uh, I sort of use this as an excuse to build something of my own based on the same idea. How can you build a lightweight rig that can swoop a camera around with ease? So just wanted to show you a quick montage of putting this thing together um, to achieve this ambitious camera move. Perfect. Boom, we're done. That's it. <laughs> This wow. fingertip stuff. Holy. You should fit right in there. How's it fit? Hey! Now, go. Why don't you just stand there for the shoot? <laughs> That's you so can and paint me out. <laughs> That's a lot of bounce. Look at that guy. Yeah. Sort of brass tack, so I'm not sure this is going to work. How much bounce is happening? Feels like a good amount. <laughs> Obviously that wasn't a great success. So we're trying to put a point where we can pull some tension. And then we also got aluminum too to be a bit stiffer. Three pounds seems like too much, you're saying. Harry, what do we have here? We have the uh, much weighted replacement carbon fiber tube that is much stronger, barely any heavier, and we think finally uh, sturdy enough to hold the camera. Weighing in at 720 grams, the Sony A7S. A7S. There's not much flex. How it's wobbling right there. Yeah. Yeah, the reality is this is not gonna be any better than it was on sticks. Need a new tape measure. Ding! It goes all the way to 16 feet. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out part two about the visual effects side of making this commercial.